it is really very frustrating while we are working and suddenly in Windows 11, File Explorer crashing, File Explorer not responding in Windows 11. We are going to fix it and it will be a complete tutorial. You might not have to watch any other tutorial after this. Please make sure you follow all the steps religiously and you will be able to fix this problem on your own. So you want to ask, I want to ask you if this problem occurred after updating Windows, like you got the Windows update and suddenly you got this error, then we need to check those updates. So to do that, do a right click in the start icon and then go to settings. And here we will go to Windows updates and then we will go to update history. Here you will check what exactly has been successfully installed. You will have the quality updates, driver updates and definition updates and other updates. And below that you will have this uninstall updates. So by any chance, if problem is occurring after updating Windows, you can uninstall it and restart the computer. This will also fix the problem if you have done other steps. So this is why I shared it at the first place. You can do that. Once you're done, you still have issues. That means there is a corruption or there is some issues which we are not identifying it. We will identify it later on. So the very first thing, we're, we will repair the computer. And to repair that, we need to run a command, which I'll mention in the description as well. So in the search icon type CMT and then run as administrator. Please make sure you only do run as administrator. Once you do that, you will see the administrator command prompt. And here I'll mention a command, which is DISM command. You need to copy that and just press control V or do a right click and paste it and hit enter this will begin the system scan image servicing management tool and it will make sure if anything is bad anything is corrupted it's going to fix that once you are done with this do the same thing with other command command which is sfc space forward slash scan now you need to do that after this once you restart come back here and paste the same command which is sfc this command this one sfc1 you need to run that all right once you're done with this then we will move to the next step and the next step is to check how much space we have in the computer so search file explorer or just go to your fire a c drive and just see how much space is left by any chance, if you have less volume, I mean less space, like 10, 15, 8 GB, then you need to work on that. And to do that, it's very easy to do so. You just need to do a right click, go to settings. And here we will go to system and then go to storage. And make sure you enable the storage sense and wait for a while. Let this scan happen. It is actually scanning that what exactly is, uh, as far as the storage is concerned, it will check each and everything. So here we need to go to this cleanup recommendation. This is really a great tool or I would say great step to do. Click on that, check for the older files and large files by the size. And you can also see the location of those. All right and above that you will have the temporary files and once you click on see advanced options you will have all the junk and cache or temporary files which is there in your computer slowing down the computer taking up space in your computer then you just need to check mark check which all you want to clean and once you select that click on remove once you are done restart the computer and i would also recommend you to check the graphics driver date as well sometimes if graphics driver is not updated then also you face problems 
So do a right click in the start icon, go to device manager and look for the display adapters. I have found it. You may be using a different adapter. That's not a problem. Uh, graphic driver, graphics driver. Just do a right click on that. Go to properties and go to the driver. See the date. How old is that? And check the manufacturer site as well. If you have any latest driver there, click on update driver, search automatically for drivers. All right. You can also click on search for updated drivers on Windows Update, but that will take time. So it's better to take the name and download it from the manufacturer site. Once you do that, for most of us, this will fix the problem. Do let me know in the comment section whether this tutorial is helpful or not. And if you find this helpful, I would highly appreciate if you join the membership and support me. I'll be glad if you do so. The membership is just below in the tutorial in the video. You can join the membership. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Have a wonderful day. Take care.